yes hello guys welcome back to this channel um you know it can be very frustrating actually when you return back from work and then you just suddenly discover that uh, there is power outage like there is no light the way we call it in nigeria here yeah. or some people say never stick a light yes and after a very busy day you return back from work you just need the light to carry out some assignments very fast and now there's no light so this has led a whole lot of people into the option of uh, you know alternative to national grid which is the never light all right so um some people hoped for generator why some other people go for the power backup system which is a major discussion in this video uh, now some people call it solar <laughs> and some other people call it inverter but i tell you the name are wrong so uh it's just like you calling a whole car system a car a vehicle you know you call it oh when it's moving say oh see that battery going or see that tire going uh the name battery or tire for a car is just a name for a component that makes up the car and not the car in totality so the same way when you just call the whole system solar or inverter all right so uh for me i've been running uh a backup system in my house and i've been doing this for about eight years now and i can tell you it's very efficient and productive it has saved me a whole lot of money running jane and even saving me money from the cost of recharging my prepaid meter you know because we are using the national grid of course uh, you have to be recharging your prepaid meter and yes that's just the normal thing so and uh, i can also tell you that a whole lot of things that uh, you feel you should have when you are having a power backup system are not necessarily needed depending on the kind of system you want to build in terms of the power backup and to what is readily available in the environment where you stay we will get to that subsequently all right guys before i go into giving you options of uh, connections that you can have in your home so as to save costs depending on your location or what is readily available in your environment and what you want to use the system for anyway i uh, would like to run uh, through the major devices that form the power backup system and i'll also be telling you the uh, different functions in the system as well all right so the first one actually is the deep circle battery and the function of the deep circle battery is to save energy you know to store energy uh, to store charges whenever it is available so that it can be used uh, when you need them probably when there is power failure and uh, the, the the batteries can be charged through the solar panel it can be charged even using your national grid the battery can also be charged using your generators at home so that's the function of the battery and this kind of battery is different from the car battery i'll be running another video that talks extensively about you know the differences between the deep circle battery and the shallow circle battery which is the car battery uh, yeah i'll be doing that in another video it's not that when you use the car battery it won't work it will work but you can't use it repeatedly you can't use it repeatedly it won't last uh, unlike uh, the deep circle battery all right that's for the battery then the next one uh, is the inverter itself and the major function of the inverter in the whole system is to convert the energy stored in your battery to the form that you have when it comes to the national grid that's converting energy in form of uh, you know direct current charges you know back to alternating current charging uh, sorry alternating current charges like you have with your nepal like that grammar sounds to be to some people let me break it down now you know in your car battery you can just directly plug a whole lot of things like your bulb even the engine is there it will just work directly with the battery but when you come into your apartment the television you have uh, the stereo system that you have in your apartment or the sound system now all those things you can't directly plug them to a battery and they will work you need a conversion from the charge store in your battery to that kind of you know 
uh, supply that you have with Snapper Light, and that's what the inverter does. It does the conversion of charges stored in your battery to that form that comes you know, with the Snapper Light. There are different types of inverters everywhere uh, the automatic one, the manual one, and so on and so forth. Uh, but all inverters are just the same thing, it does have other features attached to them. All right, so I will move to the next one, which is the uh, the solar panel. Yes, a lot of us when we hear about backup system, this is what clicks to our head. I want to I want to be solar engineer. What do I do? <laughs> All right, so I will tell you the function of the solar panel itself. Also, the solar panel does the conversion of energy from the sun to that form that can be stored in your battery. So in another way, it is used to charge your battery using. Uh, energy and next you know from the uh, sunlight and that's the work of the solar panel yeah all right uh, and for you to do that you also need another device which is called the charge controller now the charge controller you know regulates just from the way from, from the name charge controlling you know it regulates the way the solar panel charges your battery it, it controls the operations because you know there's always fluctuation whenever there's a radiation of uh, you know uh, energy from the sun it's not always constant it goes up comes down so what the charge controller does is to do this regulatory work you know in order to get your battery charged safely and that's the work of the charge controller right the next device uh, is the normal battery charger yes like you can see on the screen there are different types of cores of this kind of a normal battery chargers you know this you plug directly to your uh, national grid or you plug, plug directly to your nepal supply to charge your battery if you are going to charge your system using this method of course you don't need the solar panel all right so um, these are the major components you know that forms the solar backup system now let me move to uh, why you need some and why you don't need some in your house among all the components that I mentioned. Now, number one, you don't really need solar panel for your power backup system if you are sure there is power supply in your area, you know, uh, like they bring light when you're away from home, you're at work, and when you are back, there's no light, or they normally bring light odd hours that you don't really need the light. So. In this situation, and you are sure they bring light at least for a reasonable uh, number of uh, hours, you know, during the day. All you just need for this kind of system, which is what I also run in my own apartment, is just the inverter itself. Then you also need the battery, and then you will need the charger. With these three components, you have light, you know, supply to your apartment. In another video, I will do practical demonstration of this. Uh, since I have the components, you know, readily available at end, yeah. So uh, you don't, you don't, you don't need a solar panel in this case. You don't need a charge controller in this case. All you just need is the set of your batteries, and then what you call it, the charger that will charge those batteries. Then you need the inverter that will do the conversion work. The one I have with me as of the time I, uh, I did it, actually I just spent roughly like sixty thousand naira, and that was all. And I've been using it for quite a number of times. The most expensive thing in this component is just the battery. The batteries are always expensive, but um, if you are lucky, you see somebody that wants to dispose batteries like uh, uh, the banks and all that. At times, they just want to dispose batteries uh, from their ATM machines. Not necessarily because they are bad, but they just have this, you know, culture of regular maintenance. After so, so period, please remove the battery. There are some of these batteries that are good, and that's how I got my battery, actually. So, uh, you can liaise and then just get to know which of the batteries are good. I will do another video for you to carry out a check on how to know if a battery is good or not before buying it. And just buy one or two, you know, depending on the, your apartment the, and the sizing of your system. I will also do a video on how to size your, you know, uh, or your house because a whole lot of people over designed for what they are using. You understand i will do a video on that yes trust me so that's the first kind of uh, connection that you can have whereby your your system is being charged by national grid and at times if there's no nepal light and i have to own my generator i also use my generator using the same charger 
to charge the battery so that when I switch off the gen, I will have charge saved in the battery and probably maybe instead of running the gen for five hours or let me say six hours, I could have run, run the gen actually for uh, three hours and the remaining three hours I will use my inverter system uh, throughout the night. The second option is the regular one that everybody is just familiar with whereby you need the battery, of course the battery is always constant in the whole system then you need uh, uh, the solar panel to charge the battery then you need your inverter to convert the energy saved in the battery to the form that you want to use at home and of course you need the charge controller to regulate uh, the charging system of your battery with the solar panel so in this kind of this is more expensive than the first one that i explained because now you have to involve charging your system with a uh, solar panel and you often time do this where you are just too sure there is no uh, constant power supply or in rural areas where there is no even national grid to even charge any form of your batteries you know and so uh, you don't have option you just have to use this or some people just feel they are in the city and they don't want to depend on whether there is light at some point or uh, or the other they just want to go ahead and then have their system charged irrespective of if there's power failure or there's a supply of uh, power so this is another option of charging your system and then you know you have power back up at home okay the third option is this you need your battery you need your solar and the charge controller of course to control the charging of the battery and that's all then you have power supply to your system but the disadvantage of this is this all your devices in your home must be direct current devices i will explain in a language that all of us can understand all right um, you will observe that in your car all you have there is a battery and then you have a radio system that is or a sound system in the car that is working by just connection directly to the battery you have a bulb in your car that by just direct connection to the battery light comes on a whole lot of things in the car the ac in your car works by just direct connection to the battery of, of your car and then everything is working fine all those kinds of devices are called direct current devices you don't if you plug those devices to nepal lights they will blow yeah <laughs> they will just they will just explode straight up you can't do that they are called direct current devices and in electronic gadgets you know we have the direct current devices we have the alternating current devices and i'm just trying to use this uh, simple method to explain because i know some of my viewers are not really electrical students that will understand deeply so there are devices when you plug them directly to battery they will work they are called direct current uh, devices now come to your apartment or your home your television your sound system your bulbs and all that most of those things in your home currently are alternating current devices they, they will not work when you plug them directly to battery you can try it out if you are not scared of light anyway <laughs> so you can try it out they will not work when you plug them directly to the battery but they will only work when they see a supply that looks like nepal light and that is why you need inverter now there are ohms where the device most of the devices in the ohms are direct current devices there are televisions that are direct current televisions you just plug them directly to the battery they work yes there are sound systems that are direct current sound system you plug them directly to the battery they work there are bulbs you know there are bulbs that are direct current bulbs you plug them directly to the battery they work there are refrigerators i have seen i have done installation of such severally there are refrigerators that are direct current refrigerators when you plug them directly to a charge battery they will work there are deep freezers you know that are direct current deep freezers when you plug them directly to the battery they will also work all right so if you want to run a direct current system in your house uh, but what most people do is just that they convert all their bulbs to direct current bulbs or if you are in a rural area you know that you are not just to certain when electricity will strike all those places so it's just good that you go for this option so all you need in this case is your set of batteries then the solar panel and then the charge 
regulator that will control the charging system of the battery. Once the batteries are charged, the devices can be plugged directly. You don't need inverter. Yes, you don't need inverter in this kind of system. All right, so that is why it is wrong for you to call a power backup system by the name inverter because by these three options that I've given you, you have seen where we don't really we don't really need the solar panel you have seen where we don't really need uh, the inverter itself and you have seen where we need everything so um i believe you enjoyed this video if you have questions i know there will be a lot of questions coming up as a result of this video a lot of people want to have this done in their you know in their apartments uh, please uh, just drop your comments drop your questions in the comment sections as well you know uh, we obviously attend to them all and if you really need to get any of these devices that i've mentioned i will drop a link in the description box below so that through that you can get all that you need for your power backup system it's not expensive it's not difficult all right i believe you enjoyed this video if you do guys please just give it some thumbs up and look at the subscribe button below if you have not subscribed to this channel just click it and of course share this video and thank you for watching and bye for now see you in our next video